Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Motorman Dan and today we're talking about the Arcane Staff. Level upgrades increase primary attack fire rate. We have the unique upgrades of increased secondary radius and reduced mana cost. You gotta deal 20,000 damage to unlock the unique upgrades. And it is a long range arcane attack of secondary attack that drops arcane projectiles in an area around the player. Now, those of you who are studious, know that the Priestess, which is a war scenario trap, uses this weapon. <clears throat> This weapon was uh, brought into the game during the uh, Jurassic Steps DLC release, which was a DLC in Stadia. When the game first came out in Stadia, it was the first DLC they had. Now it is included in the game, but you still have to purchase it for five skulls uh, from the uh, from the spellbook. Okay, let's look at the game files for this. We'll talk about the secondary radius and the secondary and exactly how that works. First off, we need to start with the... Weapon proto. Okay, so it's got a 0. 0.6 second cooldown, which is less than one attack per second. Right? Yeah. Um, so it's like I don't know, 6, 12, 18. So three attacks for two seconds with like 0. 0.2 left over, right? Um, so it's less than one attack per second. Uh, but just, but just. Uh, the headshot multiplier is a 1. Uh, the value of the headshot multiplier is uh, related to the enemies as well. Let me go ahead and pull up some enemies so we can take a look at that. So the troll here has a headshot uh, modifier of 7.5, right? And is he weak to... No, he, he doesn't have any weaknesses or strengths against uh, arcane, uh, which is the damage type of the arcane staff. Um, but the headshot multiplier is 7.5. So if you were to headshot a troll with the... Uh, with the arcane staff, it does 20 damage. So let's bring out the calculator. So it does 20 damage times 7.5. Headshotting a, a a troll would do 150 damage each hit. Okay, that's how headshots work. It, it's based upon the enemy and it's based upon uh the weapon as well. Some weapons, which not very many of them, have less than 1.0 uh, headshot multiplier, but no more than that. Okay, then you uh, we can part purchase it for five skulls, as you can see here. And the bloom is relatively small. The bloom is just another way of saying like an on-screen reticle. Uh, and that's about it. Okay. So let's look at the arcane staff attributes. You're going to see a lot of stuff going on here. So we got the projectile lifetime for the, for the primary, which is the left mouse button. Projectile speed, radius. Again, uh, as, as we talked about before, uh, these values here are divisible by 150. And that's how many grid squares. Grid square is one the size of one archer or... Um, or decoy, that's like their footprint. So you have the secondary radius of 750, which is, what, five grid squares for how far away from the player the orbs can fall. And then the orbs themselves have a damage radius of 2.25, which is, is like uh, uh, just over... It's like it's, it's like 1.5 squares or something. Okay, <clears throat> uh, you guys can do the math. So uh, secondary time between bolts is 0.2, and you got 20 bolts. I mean, you got 10 bolts a second, right? Five. Bolts a second for four seconds. Sure. Um, and then you have primary flit flinch, and, and and this weapon is pretty unique. I don't remember seeing the flinch in many of the other weapons. Uh, so the flinch thing is pretty interesting to see. Um, that would just be like the enemies like stuttering their step or whatever. It does arcane damage, which means it gets magic. Magic is if you have if you don't know already, default duration of five seconds, which I'm. Could have sworn it was three for the longest time. Um, but it means that they take bonus damage from acid, arcane, fire, ice, and lightning by 15%. So 1.15 times multiplier for magic enemies to include sources themselves. It doesn't it's not additive, it just happens and gives them that debuff. All right. Uh so we have that. And then we have the damage is 20. Secondary damage is 20 for each orb. 45 mana cost to cast and give chance. Give chance. All right, let's go ahead and go into the upgrades. So here we have level two upgrades. We have uh, increased primary attack fire rate of five, uh, cost five skulls and reduces it by 0 0.08, which gives you, which still keeps you under uh, the two attacks per second. So you're, you're like barely almost at two attacks per second. Uh, then you go into the uh, six skulls for the next one, which is a uh, 0.04. And seven skills for the next one is 0 0.08. That's going to take you to 2.5 attacks per second, as you guys can see here on the wiki page. Um, takes you to uh, 0 0.52, then, then uh, 0 0.48, and then 0 0.40. So 2.5 attacks per second. 
Okay, then you have the two upgrades. We're going to get to the radius second uh, first. The easier one to talk about is going to be the reduced mana cost. So the reduced mana cost is going to be minus four uh, for each time you use it. So it's going to take it from 45 to 41 mana. Allow you maybe to spam it one more time. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, and this is where it kind of comes into which unique upgrade you want to run with this weapon. And it really depends on you. Um, so the secondary radius increases by 450. But the damage radius also increases by 75. Now, each orb, that means that each orb goes up by half of a grid square in, in the radius. And then the circumference in which these orbs can fall also increases um, by, you know, what is it, three, three grid squares. So it's going up to eight grid squares from your player of where they can fall, and each orb is wider. Um, that kind of depends on what you want to do, but I would say normally I run mana so I can spam it faster, or I can spam it more, not necessarily faster, but more, um, having a more concentrated area of damage than having it spread out. But it's really not a bad idea to get this because each orb, when they fall, uh, will have a greater chance of hitting more enemies altogether. Um, so it's really up to you as to whether or not you want to use one or the other but yeah, there, so we don't really have any questions about how this works. Um, there's not a lot really to show, I guess, other than the animations. So what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll, and we'll look at both unique upgrades and kind of take a look at, I don't know, how far five to eight grid squares is, really, um, I guess. Uh, we'll do that, and it'll be kind of a shorter video because there's really not anything else to talk about, about this. It's a relatively straightforward weapon. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, let's just jump into it. All right, guys, here we are at wave one, and this might be one of the best places to use the uh, arcane staff secondary is on a war scenario since you have so many enemies in such a wide area here. Um, as you can see, we could we could generally use four of the arcane uh, staff secondary, and you saw how much damage it did, right? Um, kind of kind of took care of quite a few of them. All right, but let's go ahead and switch switch on over. We're going to do the same exact setup. We're going to switch on over to the other secondary, just kind of get a good idea as to which one might be better. All right. So, like I said, you can see about four of them there. And we'll take a look at this here now. All right, here we are with the other secondary upgrade. So we're going to wait till we get a couple of these guys. And boom. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Is it another one? And there's another one here. All right. And we really can't. I'm, I'm trying to spam another one here. Just here we go. And now there we go. Okay. Able to pop it at, you know, uh, 24, 28 ish. So, anyways, uh, let's go take a look at the aftermath. Let's see. Still falling. That's. Oh, never mind. That's the other priestesses. Uh, so, as you can see, they also have the, the same weapon, similar stuff. You can't really spam it if you go area of effect, but it does reach like all the way out here to like all the way out here. Pretty decent radius. I don't know, you decide which one you like better. Um, I'm probably gonna stick with mana, it just makes more sense overall. And enemies on the outside, uh, they can take damage, but um, yeah, I, it just doesn't feel as good to me as uh, as the mana costing one. Like it's all right, it's all right for sure. And it, it, it's probably just gonna, probably just gonna end up being like a, a personal preference sort of thing. So, all right guys, as always, hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow, subscribe to Twitch, and let me know in the comments if you have any ideas or thoughts about this uh, arcane staff. Like I said, it's pretty self, uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Not a lot to going on with it. You know, there's nothing super special about it. Um, it's really just about the unique upgrades. Some people might ask which one you want, and it's really up to you. They're both uh, pretty decent, but personally, I go with the plus mana. Spin a little bit more frequently, and do the same thing. So, anyways, guys, as always, uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Deuces.